สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t e n s a Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBC Phuket.com. Plans for Thailand to reopen to tourists are still in the works, as discussions center around how to let them in safely. But the Tourism Authority of Thailand is saying that the risk is unavoidable, and that Thailand is not only ready to reopen, but must do so to avoid bruising levels of unemployment. Last week, Thailand reported its first local transmission of COVID-19 in 100 days. It was a Bangkok DJ who had been arrested on drug charges and found infected while in jail. The news prompted a wave of concern in Thailand over plans to reopen, as Phuket was set to accept tourists on October 1st. But the infection prompted the TAT to downgrade their estimates on international arrivals for 2020. Earlier this year, Thailand was poised to accept somewhere around 38 million international arrivals. But with the COVID-19 pandemic, that number has been slashed to 6.7 million, with expected revenue of 331 billion baht, down 65% from last year. TAT Governor Yuta Sak Supason said, quote, We have to bring in tourists by the last quarter as the domestic market alone cannot keep tourism workers employed. If we keep delaying their entry, around two and a half million jobs out of four million will be at risk. At the moment, the plan is to accept international tourists with a limited number of arrivals and locations, all having to comply with strict health measures and surveillance procedures. All potential tourists to Thailand will have to have a fit to fly certificate, $100,000 insurance coverage, and have a negative test 72 hours before the scheduled flight. Then upon landing in Thailand, they have to pay for and stay in quarantine for 14 days and take two separate COVID tests during this time. And only then would they have the option to go to other parts of Thailand, but only if they pass an extra seven days of quarantine, although that last part is still being discussed. Meanwhile, the TAT plans to propose to the cabinet next week a special tourist visa scheme for long-stay visitors that costs around 2,000 baht and can be extended for up to nine months at 90 days at a time. As it stands, it looks like both Phuket and Bangkok will be the test models for accepting tourists, if it happens. Let's talk numbers. As reported, COVID-19 deaths in Thailand have stayed steady at 58 since June 2nd, but that's a small number compared to road deaths and suicides in the country. On Thursday, we reported on the 22% increase in the suicide rate in Thailand for the same six-month period compared to last year, according to the Department of Mental Health. In 2019, there were about 2,092 suicides in the same period, while this year, officials reported 2,551 for the same six-month period, a difference of 459 deaths which officials correlated to the COVID-19 pandemic and measures taken to prevent further cases, including the lockdown and the ban on international travel, which has resulted in unprecedented job and revenue loss. Now, let's look at road deaths. As the Thai Road Accident Data Center for Road Safety Culture, otherwise known as the Thai RSC, they've reported 10,277 deaths so far this entire year of 2020 which works out to about 40 road deaths per day since January 1st. Today, September 11th, Thai RSC reported that 26 road deaths took place today alone at the time of this broadcast nationwide. Today, officials in Bangkok announced seven new COVID-19 cases, five of them Thais returning from abroad and two foreigners arriving from India, Russia and Saudi Arabia, bringing the total number of cases in Thailand to 3,461 with 96% recovered, and the death toll remains unchanged at 58. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A few of Phuket's top officials were on hand to join a workshop focused on marijuana cultivation and processing for medical use and research right here in Phuket. The workshop, which took place at Phuket Rajabat University, was held to raise awareness for those looking to grow for medicinal and research purposes with the Phuket Public Health Office Chief Danit Sermkeo making it very clear that a permit from the Ministry of Health is required in order to legally grow marijuana for such purposes. Although he did not explain whether such permits were already available. At the moment, according to Dr. Danit, marijuana in Thailand remains a Category 5 controlled substance under the Narcotics Act but the Ministry of Public Health has issued a policy to allow people safe access to the use of marijuana and medical herbs. Other issues explained were measures to control the quality of marijuana grown 
and how to test for residues in the soil, such as heavy metals or pesticides. Vice Governor Pidgett said, quote, Every aspect of growing marijuana can bring us more knowledge, especially in the medical benefits of using treatments made from marijuana. Further study of its uses can help the future treatment of various diseases and medical conditions. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Patong Police Chief Colonel Aganit Dampiktaksit today urged motorists to avoid certain roads and areas in the beach town during the We Run Phuket event this weekend. Colonel Aganet told the Phuket News today that roads in Patong will not be closed, but a separate lane for runners will be marked with traffic cones so that runners can run along the roads safely. The event's short distance run, a three kilometer, will take place mostly on Patong Beach and along the beach road, Dawiwang Road, from 4 p.m. to 6 on Saturday, September 12th. On Sunday, the main run along the 10 kilometer course will start at 6.30 and finish at around 9 a.m. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. Thanks again for joining us this whole week. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. Let us know in the comment section what else you guys want to see. And we'll be back on Monday with all the news you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. คุณมองเห็นอะไรไหมครับถ้ามองไม่เห็นเดี๋ยวเราจะย้อนภาพให้ดูทีละมุมถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด้วยความเร็วปกติถ้ามองจากคนที่นั่งอยู่ข้างทางคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ผ่านไปด้วยความเร็วปกติแต่ถ้ามองจากคนที่ขับรถตามหลังมอเตอร์ไซค์คันนี้มันติดติดไม่มีไฟท้ายก็เหมือนไม่มีคุณอยู่บนถนนตรวจสอบไฟท้ายให้ใช้งานได้อยู่เสมอ